I'm the only one down here. Oh, that's what mackerel bite looks like on a popped up bit of foam. Look at that. Not bad, I'll reel it in. So the bit of footage you just saw was some action we had with some mackerel last year. We're gonna try and do the same again tomorrow night, but I'll show you the setup, what we used, um, or what we're going to use. Um, and all it is, is the fly we used to catch the lance the other night, but with a little bit of foam whipped to the top, this pipe lagging insulation. I use it for lots of stuff, wrapping the weak rigs up and stuff, but it uh, makes the feathers really buoyant. So all you need to do is make a three hook flapper, um, eight pound snoods, keep it nice and light, um, size 10 hook as before, um, and a little feather on the, on the end with a bit of foam whip to it, and that works really well. Um, it's different slightly to the conventional pop-up rigs, which I've made some of them as well, and we're gonna fish one against the other. Um, this is just a, a piece of orange foam I cut it out of a kid's baseball bat um, Got from charity shop for about 60p get about a thousand of them out of one of them um, And then you've got a tiny little grub hook on the other end. It's a size 12 nice and light and I tip that with a little piece of mackerel It's all three hook flappers. You just chuck it out there get in some water, let it pop three foot off the bottom and let the tide do the work. Sometimes if you've been to work all day, you don't really wanna spend two hours feather fishing, chucking it out and reeling it in. But this um, can fish static and you just sit on your box, have a cup of coffee and wait for the rod to hoop over, which it quite often does. And the major advantage with this is that you can sometimes select the bigger mackerel. Quite often they're quite close to the bottom and the feathers work as well as they do but will often target all all the smaller mackerel especially the ones closer to the beach this thing you can just chuck out there 50 60 yards put it in the rod rest um, and wait for it to hoop over and the mackerel aren't very often lip hooked either they just engulf it but we'll go we'll have a go tomorrow night we'll see what happens and hopefully we'll get some fish and the idea is that once you chuck that out you can see how buoyant that is the tide will get hold of that, wobble the marabou around, catch a little bit of tinsel, glint in the, in the clear water, and the mackerel just swim along in shoals and just hoover them up. And then you just um, casually walk to the rod and reel your tea in. That's the plan anyway. I'll bring you back on the beach. Well, I've got both rods out now. Um, there's a bit of weed in the water, which is a little bit of a worry. This is the worst possible method for um, trying to catch anything when there's weed in the water it just clings and sticks to everything but um, we'll give it a good go um, standard stuff really rods and reels uh, 15 pound mainline um, 60 pound shock leader onto a um, 50 pound trace body three hook flapper size 10 hooks with bits of foam on um, but that right hand rod that's just knocked over as, to, as if to tell me there's a lump of weed on the end I hope that's not the story of the night but um, yeah, we'll see. Tide's on the ebb, so um, there's every possibility that the weed what's there will ease up, but we just have to see how it goes. This time of year, um, it can be hard work. Well, unfortunately, it looks like my suspicions were correct. The whole trace is covered in weed all the way down the trace. Look at that. Nightmare. This rig's not going to fish at all well. Um, We'll keep plugging away, but um, yeah, the initial signs aren't good. Um, don't know what to say really. To be expected, I suppose. Never mind. Well, now I'm losing the will to live, really. I'm gonna have to go down to one rod. The stuff, although it's not really thick, it's just enough to mess you up. So you're not fishing properly, so. We'll go down to one rod to uh, make it a little bit easier to cope with and um, we'll see what we still just went past and he was laughing so um, yeah it's not looking good guys. Well it became unfishable in the end so I um, went into the box, took out the size 10 feathers we caught the lance on the other night and um, almost straight away we got a string full of mackerel and these ones weren't very deep I was just trying to stay out of that weed on the bottom. Um, and that one, that's a monster. Um, be on the barbecue tomorrow. So, yeah, what I wanted to do didn't work. 
but it's still all right. Well, it's the end of the session. Um, small feathers came good. We ended up um, with 20 mackerel to keep, up to 37, and we put about 25 back because they were too small. Um, but yeah, this, um, this shingle bank stretches all the way from Clyde through to Weybourne. Very, very popular match stretch. We've got two brilliant clubs locally. We've got Holtsey Angling Club and Norfolk Angling Club. Both hold regular matches on here. Um, both run by absolute brilliant organisers um, and hopefully you'll meet them in the near future. But for this session, I think we're done. Um, mission success and um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.